Hi and welcome back to my channel. I must start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And uh, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get to see when I put up new videos. Please uh, watch this video all the way to the end. Like and share. And all comments are answered. It's a quick look at uh, a couple of items that I got from Derails, just arrived this morning. And this one is the uh, Gage Master Track Cleaning Coach. <coughs> There's its number GM4430103. BRRTC track cleaning wagon. And first impressions, uh, when it's in the box, I'm not that impressed really because it looks like it's a transfer that, with all that detail on. So I'll open the box now and we'll see what it's like. You get some uh, instructions with it. It's basically just telling you how to change the pad. Assemble in opposite sequence. It should be noted that the two springs are fitted properly in the cleaning plate. Plate must be spring mounted. It's made by Pico, German company. <clears throat> and as I su suspected, it's uh, just like a vinyl print on there, which is very disappointing, considering how much you're paying for these. You think they would actually use a wagon that had detail on it and then fit the uh, cleaning pad to it this will go in focus bit of a cheapskate way they've done this It'll probably be the same with the uh, network rail one that you can get. That's probably exactly the same. That is just a plain wagon, flat sides, and then the, the vinyl stuck on top. So there's no raised detail at all. So I am very disappointed in it. But I got the uh, RTC colour scheme, the red and blue, to go with my uh, Class 24 that I've got. See, that's the pad underneath. Have it all focus in. It's focusing in on the background. It's got name couplings there. No sprung buffers, just solid. Metal wheels. British Rail Research Dynamics Group. Auxiliary Test Vehicle. And I say I got it for cleaning the track with. I say it's a bit of a cheat having just a plain plain wagon. It's disappointing. The only bit of detail there is is on the back edge here. I 
And I think originally this wagon would have had a sliding door. Just here. I think it's more like a, a ferry van. Because there's a, like a ridge piece there, you can see. When you're paying about 35 quid for it, it's, I say, I'm disappointed in it. I don't know what you would think if you got it. To me, they could have got a better wagon for it. But like I say, the view's just a, a square sided ferry van that's got no details at all on it. Except the uh, sliding door, which they've not gave on this. And that's just like a st stick on vinyl. Okay, on to the uh, second night of my purchase then. Actually, if you go feeling the sides, I think it might be uh, either printed on detail or painted on detail. Because it is raised a little bit, the writing is. It might be like a, a transfer. I don't think it is a vinyl sticker. I think it's more likely to be a transfer. It's just a pity that the detail isn't actually a wagon. And this is the second item that I got. And it's uh, the Hornby Year wagon. And it's Hornby 2022 and it's a refrigerated van and it's numbers R60075. I've been getting these yearly wagons since uh, they actually started first coming out. I think it was 1993 or 1992 when the first one came out. It's quite dear for what you get here. It's uh, I paid... I think it was 1997, uh, something like that. So what I did, I, I made up it over £20 because I wanted that uh, cleaning wagon anyway. So I bought that to make it over the £20 for free postage. This is just a plain wagon, it says. No sprung buffers. It's got an end ladder there. And some detail. Now see, I only got it because basically I've got every other one in the yearly range. So just to keep up that collection. Didn't expect much from this wagon anyway. Metal wheels. It's a very old design because as you see there's no name pocket on it. It's just these uh, big D couplers. You'd think Hornby could get their act together and actually just a standard now fit name pockets I'm not bother about these uh, large D well they probably try to save money 
charge us a fortune and uh, keep with the same old design. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, as I said earlier, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and hit the uh, bell icon so you can see any new videos that come out. Okay, I'll say uh, bye for now and everyone take care.